So you put it under tunnel, and Charnasia is going to scoop some uh, dry vegetables. She's going to drop that in. Shaylee's going to put some soy in. Tim's going to put rice in. Today, uh, we're working with Love the Hunger Association, and we're packing 10,000 meals that is going to three different countries, Haiti, South Sudan, and Guatemala, to feed hungry children around the world. Love the Hungry is a local organization. It's a famine relief organization, and they partner with non-governmental organizations all across the globe. Believe me, you won't have any trouble making 10,000 meals. Okay. and get groups like us to raise money and fund the event that we do. I always like to give back to the community, and when I saw the opportunity to actually give back to uh, other countries, which is outside, it, it was just a great uh, opportunity because there's so many children that are suffering, and, and if we can give back from here, then we should totally do it. You're going to put it in here, and the team that's going to be down here, they're going to take it and get you know, the rice pushed down a little, and then we're gonna seal it in this. One of the first jobs is scooping up rice and dehydrated vegetables. Uh, another job is putting the plastic package under the funnel so that it can catch all the stuff that goes in. Everyone can be a leader if they just put their mind to it and, and like actually go out there and help out. I believe it's helping you have more compassion for your, you know, fellow humans. And then for me, like it's like a personal experience because about two years ago I was homeless and you know, it's important to make sure that, you know, you show kindness because you never know when you can be in that situation and you want someone to show kindness to you. It certainly uh, sparked in me a feeling that I want to keep doing this. I want to keep working and it, when I grow up, then I will totally, like, keep working with people who do this kind of stuff. And I know our school is proud that our students want to give back and they'll do the work to make sure that happens. We make 10,000 meals and each package is six meals, which makes me happy because you know you, it's suffering to be hungry. It's really sad and you know no one wants to go through that nor do I want to see it. So I want to make sure that they can get the nutrients and the vitamins that they need to grow up to be big, healthy and strong so they can do something with their life.